Hello friends, welcome to Electrical Design Engineering YouTube channel. Today is our lecture number 4 of our free course Design of Transmission Lines and Distribution Lines. In the last 3 lectures, we have studied about Letter of Intent, Bill of Quantity and Estimation, Difference between Bill of Quantity and Estimation with example, Survey of power lines. What are the important points kept in mind during survey of power lines? Permission is needed for transmission and distribution lines. And today we will study about load, connected load, maximum demand, demand factor, and diversity factor. We will also cover the load of various buildings as per NEC, IEC standards. Before starting the lecture, we have a small request that is please subscribe the channel, like and share the video on your social media profiles. The link of previous lectures is given in the description. If you have any question about the topic, you can ask in the comment section. Let us start the today's lecture. In electrical engineering, the term load is used in many ways. It is defined as the electrical energy consumed by the electrical device. It is also defined as the power required by the device or a circuit. It is also defined as the current required for the device or a circuit. Generally for low voltage devices, the term load is used to indicate the power rating of the device. Suppose we have an iron. If we see the name plate, the power rating is indicated as 750 kilowatt. So we can say the load of iron is 750 watt. For higher feeders like 11 kV, 33 kV and above, the term load is used to indicate the current of the feeder. That is, in feeders, generally the current of the feeder is defined as the load. If you have visited any receiving station or grid station, you have seen control panel of the feeder as shown in figure. The current of the feeder is indicated in the ammeter. If the ammeter reading is 200 amperes, so we can load of the feeder is 200 amperes. The load of various buildings as per NEC and IEC standards are for a house. As per the NEC, volt ampere per square meter is 33. Similarly, as per IEC, volt ampere per square meter is 15 to 30. For hospital, it is 22 and 50 to 80. And school, it is 33 to 10 to 30. And banks, it is 39 to 40 to 70. And hotels, it is 22 to 30 and 60. Now, we will see what does the connected load mean. Connected load is defined as the sum of the all the loads connected to the system. Suppose in your house you have following devices installed. The connected load will be the sum of all the power ratings of these devices. That is 0 0.750 of iron and 2 kilowatt of grazer and 0.020 of bulb and 0.05 watt of a fan. The total connected load of the of your house will be 2.82 kilowatts. Now, what does the maximum demand or, or a peak demand mean or a peak load mean? We know if the connected load of a house has a 10 kilowatt, all the 10 kilowatt will not operate at a time. Sometimes it will operate 2 kilowatt, we will operate 2 kilowatt and sometimes we, uh, we can operate only 5 kilowatts and sometimes we can operate 3 kilowatt. Operating load at a time is varying and is not equal or greater than the connected load. The maximum load which I operate during a given time is called the maximum load or a peak load. It is the greatest of all demands which occur during specified feeder, it will never be greater than the connected load. 
it helps us in determining the capacity of genetic cetacean, transformer, DG set, and UPS. The capacity of genetic cetacean or transformer or DG set or UPS is calculated on the basis of the peak load or maximum demand. Suppose this is the operating load of a particular system during January 2016 to December 2016. During the period the load is varying. Suppose in January the load is 711.6 kW, in February the load is 687.8 kW and in March the load is 692.2 kW. You are seeing that the load is varying continuously from January to December. If we have to find the peak load, the, the peak load or the maximum demand of the system is 982.6 kW. Now we will define the we will see the demand factor. What does the demand factor mean? Demand factor, it is the ratio of maximum demand to the connected load. Demand factor never be greater than 1. It is always less than or equal to 1 because the maximum demand is never greater than the connected load. The demand factor of various buildings are for a residential building, the demand factor should be 0.6 and for commercial unit, the demand factor should be 0.7 and for hotels, the demand factor should be 0.75 and schools, it is 0.8 and street lighters and outdoor parking, that is almost all the lightings are on, it is 0.9 or 1 or a hospital, it is 0.8 and airport, it is 0.6. Now, we will see the diversity factor. It is the ratio of the sum of the individual maximum demands to the maximum demand of the whole system. That is, diversity factor is sum of the individual maximum demands divided the maximum demand of whole system. This can be understood from this example. Suppose we have a system as shown in figure. The 33 receiving system has six number of distribution transformers connected. The rating and maximum demand of each distribution transformer is mentioned in the figure. Now we have to calculate the diversity factor of the system or of the system or the feeder. The diversity factor is sum of the individual maximum demands. The individual maximum demands here are the maximum demands of distribution transformers. That is 10, 3.5 amperes, that is 13 amperes, 2.3 amperes, 0.6 amperes, 4.2 amperes. And the maximum demand of whole system is the maximum demand of the receiving station that is from which the feeders are operating, from which the feeders are feed, from which the dis these distribution transformers are feed. That is 29 amperes. So we can write the sum of the maximum demand is, is 33.6 divided by 29, it is 1.15. That is the diversity factor of this feeder is 1.15. The diversity factor is always greater than. 1. Now we will see the diversity factor of various buildings. In between transformers, if the area is residential, then it is 1.5, 1.3, and if the area is commercial, it is 1.3, and industrial, it is 1.3. That means between the transformers, the diversity factor, whether it is residential area, commercial area, or industrial area, it is always 1.3. And between feeders, if the feeder is residential or commercial or industrial, it is 1.2. And similarly, in between substation, it is 1.1. And similarly, in between the individual users, it is 2, 1.46 in commercial case and 1.46 in industrial case. Thank you.